your watching Fox Tech. And in this video, I'll walk you through where you can write on a MacBook. Let's get straight into it. There are several places where you can write on your MacBook, depending on what kind of writing you wanna do. For something quick and simple, um, the built-in notes app is a great place to start. It's fast, easy to use, and syncs across all your Apple devices. It also supports checklists, images, and even handwriting if you're using uh, an iPad alongside your Mac. The downside is that formatting is pretty limited, so it's not ideal if you're working on longer or more structured documents. If you need more flexibility and want something that helps you stay organized, Notion is worth considering. It's highly customizable and really good for linking ideas, managing projects, or even using databases. You can also collaborate with others if needed. The trade-off is that it has a steeper learning curve and it doesn't perform as well offline. For plain writing, it might even feel like more than you need. Another lightweight option is the Stickies app, which lets you write quick reminders that stay right on your screen. It's simple and great for jotting something down fast. But keep in mind, there's no syncing or cloud backup, and formatting is very basic. It's not the best choice for anything you want to store or organize long term. For more formal writing, Pages is Apple's word processor, and it comes free with your Mac. It's good for creating design-heavy documents and offers nice templates and formatting tools. However, it's not as widely used in academic or business settings. And sharing files outside the Apple ecosystem can sometimes be a challenge. Finally, there's Microsoft Word, which is still the industry standard for many professionals. It has powerful formatting tools, supports collaboration, and is widely recognized. The downside is that it usually requires a subscription and it's heavier than the other apps, so it might feel too slow for basic note taking. Thanks for watching. If this helped you out, uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Fox Tech for more helpful guides like this. See you later.